A few years ago, I was visited by a demon. I was paralyzed in my bed in the middle of the night and I saw above me this floating black orb. I can only describe it as something that looks like a ghastly from Pokemon. And I let out a scream like I've never screamed before. And right then and there, I probably would have become a believer in some form of the supernatural had I not known about sleep paralysis. Across the historical record, people of different times and cultures have reported being visited in the middle of the night, paralyzed by the vision of some kind of ghost or demon-like figure. And today, the same kinds of sensations are reported with so-called alien abductions. But for how many of these reports that we have, the symptoms of these encounters are remarkably consistent. They include some overwhelming sense of terror and dread, some reporting of a dark figure in the room at the foot of the bed or near it, also total muscle paralysis and a feeling of choking or pressure on the chest. The symptoms of these encounters are so similar, however, across time and culture that there's likely something more fundamental, something more biological, but informed by culture going on. Is there some condition that explains all of these symptoms without invoking the supernatural or aliens? When you're sleeping normally, after about 90 minutes, your brain drifts off into REM sleep, or rapid eye movement sleep characterized by the rapid eye movement of your eyes underneath the eyelids. Here is where we dream the only part of sleep that we can remember. But it wouldn't be very adaptive if we could act out our dreams of flight or swimming through rising bread dough. Don't judge me for that. So the brain instead secretes two neurotransmitters. The first, glycine, is a neurotransmitter that inhibits the sensory information that informs the movement of our muscles. And the second, GABA, which inhibits nerve signals and voluntary muscles. Together, these chemicals keep you from waving your arms about and screaming in the middle of the night when you're dreaming that you've been transported to an island where there's just dinosaurs that rip your spine out over and over again. Seriously, that was, uh, that, was a rough, that was a rough time for me. Usually, these chemicals wear off before you wake, but sometimes you wake up at the wrong time. The condition known as sleep paralysis occurs when you wake in the middle of REM sleep, when your sleep stages are out of sync and before the paralyzing chemicals wear off. When this happens, the paralysis can affect breathing, induce feelings of terror and dread, and mess with the perception of your own body enough that you can hallucinate figures in the room. Go away! Go away, you're not real! Sleep paralysis affects around 6% of the general population, though maybe only once or twice in a lifetime. However, if you have a chronic condition like narcolepsy or are severely sleep deprived, the episodes can happen much more often. Now we have to ask ourselves, what is the better explanation for ghosts in the night or demons at your bed or alien abductions? But biology is not the only thing to blame here. Sure, brain chemistry and out of sync sleep stages are at the root of these visions, but what gives them shape and color and form is culture. In Indonesia, sleep paralysis is called Digwinton, which means pressed on. In Hungary, it's called Bozarkani Nyomas. I'm definitely not pronouncing that correctly, which means witch's pressure. And in the southern United States, it's called witch riding. You see, the symptoms are the same, but the visions are colored by some universal conception of what a vengeful spirit should look like. These night hags. And today, those traditional conceptions are replaced with popular interpretations of what aliens should look like, themselves remarkably consistent across reports. It could be the case that sometimes we are haunted by ghosts or visited by demons or even abducted by aliens in the middle of the night. But the more likely explanation and the more interesting explanation, at least to me, is that common cultural threads have weaved together a group hallucination based on similar brain chemistry. And knowing that, we can take power back from the supernatural. When I first learned about sleep paralysis and why it happens, the demons stopped bothering me. Why? Because science.